Hey everyone, I just thought it would be worth to come quickly make an update video for the Vision Gran Turismo Trophy out of the new bonus cafe menu books that came from the 1.15 update for Gran Turismo. So the other day I made a guide for the VGT Trophy and I showed the Lambo and I've gone through a few more choices and options and I found a much more sensible option for this event because not only can it be used for the VGT Trophy while being really competitive, it's also competitive for the Group 1 Trophy. Again, before continuing, I'd like to thank Unleashed Driver's sponsor, NZ Gaming. If you're from New Zealand and you're wanting to get into sim racing, pick up new sim racing gear or even gaming equipment, then be sure to check out NZ Gaming. They've got everything for you there. All the sim gear I'm going to be using in this video for driving, you can pick that up from NZ Gaming. So I'm going to leave the link to them in the description. Be sure to check them out. If you saw the video I did yesterday for the Group 1 prototype series, then you'll know what car I'm talking about. That's the Mazda LM55 VGT and the Group 1 version of the car, not the standard VGT one. So here in front of me, I've got a setup for the car just under the limit of 850 pp and um, here is what I have. Medium tires, plenty of grip, plenty of downforce as well. I've just put the medium RPM turbocharger on and the rest you can see in front of me right here. Now this car is a lot more stable and easier to drive than that Lambo was while also being quite a bit faster. We're going to be doing a couple laps here at the Brazilian Interlagos circuit here today in the video and I'm doing lap times probably like five six seconds quicker than I was doing with the Lambo so absolutely worth it. I did do lap guides for the Vision Gran Turismo Trophy tracks in that previous guide video so if you want a bit of a, uh, a few pointers for these tracks to help you go a bit faster then check out that video the only differences i would say to make between that car and this car for this car just brake a little bit later you'll be able to work it out pretty quickly base your reference points off the ones i showed in that video and brake just a little bit later than i did than that car Starting off with this race, we don't actually need to put traction control on, but we'll put it on anyway. We also don't have to worry about fuel saving in this race because there is no fuel usage in these VGT trophy races. The car is just really nice to drive, especially compared to that Lambo. The Lambo wasn't bad, but it had this hor horrible feature where if you're turning a little bit while braking, the rear is going to slide around all over the place and it's easy to spin out if you're not concentrating hard enough. This thing, you don't have that issue, and it's also super quick in the straights. If you have a good exit out of that turn back there, you will reach over 300 k's per hour down the straight. And like I said before, you'll just need to brake a little bit later than you would with that Lambo, because there's just all that much extra grip. But if you have come to this event after driving this car in the Group 1 series, just be aware that this car isn't exactly Group 1 spec anymore, so it doesn't have as much grip as it did with the, the 950pp Group 1 specs. But this is absolutely good enough for the VGT Trophy. It's the best car I've tried so far. And um, I just missed it, but it is halfway through lap three, and I've gotten myself up to the lead position. I actually overtake, overtook those guys a few corners ago, so yeah, you get to the lead pretty quickly with this car. What I think I'll do quickly is I'll run a lap around this track so you can see what it's like. Yeah, so as we just saw, I've done a lap of a 121.7. That's quite a lot quicker than what I was doing with the Lambo. I think I was doing something like 125s, 126s. I hope this was helpful for you guys that are struggling with this event. Thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you very soon.